In this clip, I'm going to demonstrate password policy using the PWD ADM command, hereafter referenced as password admin. This command is used for password policy settings and password delegation. This is a common co command to use when setting or resetting passwords for users. For this demonstration, let's hit submit and create a user called Delta. The user Delta is now created, but let's not set an initial password for user del Delta. Let's have a look at the password admin flags for that user. There are no flags present. This means no password has yet been set for this user. And we can, of course, grep etc password and we will see there is an asterisk sign in the password field this also means that no password has been set now as root let's give delta a password and there it is I've been generated now if we have a look at the etc password file we can see we have an exclamation mark which means the password has been set also with the password admin flags we have admchg this means the next time user Delta logs in, he will be forced to change his password. Let's now see that in action. Switch over to user DXTANS terminal, who will SU to user Delta. He provides his own password, and now he is forced to change to a new password, which he does quite successfully. Let's go back to Roots terminal and look at the flags of the password admin for user delta and we should see that the flags ADM CHG have now been cleared also note in the output we have the last update this is the last time the passwords were changed in seconds using any utility that has the C time function you can then change that date to a more human readable form give that and we see when the date was changed and also presented as the current date. Now if you are a member of the group security, root is by default, any other user that is in that group can change other users passwords apart from his own roots and system passwords. So as DX tans, if he gives the password admin command followed by the user he wants to change, he is prompted for his own password first then he gives the new password for the user. In this case it is Delta, so Delta's password has now been changed. So as DX turns, if he SUs to user Delta, he will be prompted for another new password change. And there he has done it quite successfully. Not his day of all these password changes though. Now if we go back to the root terminal let's now review the password admin flags again and we can see that the flags have been cleared now let's give it a new flag for user delta and this time we're going to give a no check this means when user delta is prompted to give his password he does not have to follow any of the policies or rules that are supplied in ECT security user file. Now if he SUs to Delta, gives his password, he can input what password he likes at any length. Now back to the root terminal again, let's now give another flag for user Delta, this time we'll give it the ADMIN flag this means only root is allowed to change Delta's password. Well, let's see this in action. Let's get user DX turns to rerun his command to see if he can change Delta's password. And he can't. He gets an error. And that is because the ADMIM flags are set for that user. Okay, so if you need to clear all the flags for passwords so we won't be prompted after you give him an initial password you must use the hyphen C and this means he can log straight into the password that was given by root PWD ADM it's a great tool to use